Union. Nurses Union. Nurses Union. Nurses Union. Everywhere we go. People want to know. People want to know. We stand united because we are outraged over a leaked email from Ms. Dumanowski to Dr. Smith dated 12-19-2018. Ms. Dubanowski disrespects and ridicules RMPA leadership, our union, and Mr. Boygis, our union counsel. We believe the ultimate goal was to promote union conflict between unions, which stated we should allow RMPA and CNA to duke it out, our preferred choice. This is not promoting labor peace. She mentions parity for our nurses in the sum of 28 to $35 million and sought guidance. For the record, RMPA has never received such an offer. We are having a staffing crisis right now. Elmwood is in dire need of hiring nurses, our custody nurses, and we also need to retain the nurses that we continue to recruit. St. Louis and O'Connor have lost many nurses due to their wages. We stand before you today and demand a wage realignment for all nurses. Together we can stop the revolving door and slam that door shut. Thank you. Thank you. And I am RNPA. We, the county's nurses union, are here again to address the staffing crisis. The continual effort of our nurses is wearing thin as the workload increases and staffing decreases. Nurses are being told there's a hiring freeze due to the acquisition. We, the nurses, are among many who are the foundation of the day-to-day -day operations of our healthcare system. We, the nurses, are also among many who are partly responsible for the success of those healthcare programs which generated revenue for the acquisition in the first place. Excuses aside, the county has the obligation to allocate accordingly to maintain staffing for safe, quality patient care. We continue to spend money on OT, third weekend penalty pay, and the continued training of staff we don't actively work to retain. The solution is to invest in staff, their retention, their satisfaction. The success of our healthcare system depends on it. After all, a building is only as solid as the foundation it's built with. Thank you. In 2017 of May, we had our revolving door rally. This rally was to highlight county's, county's inability to keep our new nurses and hire experienced nurses due to the low wages. Last year, December 2018 rally, RMPA asked that the Santa Clara Valley Health and Hospital nurses receive the same wages as O'Connor's nurses and that the O'Connor and St. Louis keep their current wages. Since those times, nothing has changed. The county continues to lose our new nurses to the surrounding hospitals, and we still cannot hire experienced nurses to replace those nurses who have retired. We are also losing our very valuable experienced nurses at O'Connor and St. Louis hospitals. As you have heard from my nurse colleagues today, and will continue to hear after I speak, we have a serious issue that undermines patient safety. We cannot wait another six months to negotiate our contract. We need a realignment now to keep our nurses in custody, mental health, ambulatory, VMC, OCH, and St. Louis Hospital. Thank you. Thank you. I represent um, the main jail uh, RNPA. Um, I wanted to first thank Cindy Chavez. Um, she had heard um, some real, com real concerns that our nurses have, none of which would have benefited us personally. Um, except to protect our license and to improve patient care. And uh, she has formed committees, and I really, really appreciate what you've done um, and are doing. Uh, I'm also asking you to please address and approve uh, coded positions in um, uh, the custody health setting that are desperately needed. We are so short-staffed that RNPA had to negotiate provisional positions to meet our desperate need. And we still have positions that haven't been filled after nurses have retired. Um, we have nurses who work 16-hour shifts Thank almost you. daily. Daryl McKay, uh, Main Jail RN and Unit Representative. Good morning, Supervisors and Community. We are at a critical crisis with regard to patient care at our main hospital, clinics, and custody environments. Our medical staff cares daily for our patient population in the county and does so often work tirelessly without breaks 12 to 16 hours a day. We provide care in a profession that should be error-free. Our patients deserve medical staff that are well-rested, well-trained, and equipped to provide the rest 
of the care possible that they the best care possible that they can. RMPA would like to thank Supervisor Chavez, Cortezi, and Ellenberg for their continued positive influence and support and advocation for our patient population. And we continue to look forward to working at solutions together to better our patient outcomes. Thank, thank you me. very much. Hello, Board of Supervisors. My name is Christy Johnson. I'm an RN at Elmwood. <clears throat> In recent months, we have lost 17 day shift RNs. Either to retirement, they left for other opportunities, or they were terminated. None of them have been replaced. Where we once had a day shift staff of 19, we are now working with 14 or fewer nurses. With this shortage, we are now forced to work double assignments. Working in this capacity is dangerous for even the most experienced nurse. We work in an environment not typical of hospital or clinical nurses. We have large nurse to patient ratios. While we understand there is no defined number of patients we are responsible for during our shift, at some point there must be concern for the safety of our patients. It is unthinkable to ask one RN to be responsible for the medical well-being of 400 or more inmates, yet this is happening daily. We ask for your help in resolving our staffing shortage. Thank you. I'm asking for help, really, for the Board of Supervisors, RMPA. I'm a staff here in Elmwood for approximately six years. In my years of work in Elmwood, there has been an increase in population in every barracks and pod. The coverage of one nurse that used to be an assigned task two years ago now became two nurses because of the activity and the increase of staff or workload. At present, a total of 13 nurses are no longer working in our facility. That includes people who were let go, resigned, and retired. These nurses were never replaced. Staff nurses work extra hours and shifts to help, but at the very end, we all get tired. We had a meeting in the last few weeks ago and granted vacation to short staff. I understand that it will be a big miracle for us immediately to staff us, but we beg you to help us in this matter. Every nurse says a little prayer before work that they can get through the shift because of the risk we are going through. I hope you can open your hearts and ears to our plea. Thank you so much. One of, I am one with my fellow staff nurses in our concerns for both patient safety and the safety of our licenses due to dangerously low staffing. My name is Judy Lynn Fuentes, RN. I have been in custody for over 21 years and I have worked in the areas of staff development, middle management, and line staff as one of the RNs. It is alarming because at a time when our patient acuity is at its peak, our staffing level is at its lowest. There are instances when we are really short staffed that some of our specific areas of assignments do not even have a nurse to do med pass. When nurses have to double up assignments, some med passes and treatments and, ass and assessments are very late resulting in patient refusals. It's not good practice to not get to pass 7 p.m. meds till almost 11 p.m. to midnight on many nights that we are short. The same is true with treatments and assessments, i.e alcohol withdrawal checks, welfare checks, wound care, and the like. We also have to consider the Department of Corrections workflow and timeline, so we are constantly short and late in getting our tasks done. It impacts them and ultimately the patients. Our patient care is hurried, resulting in poor care, which jeopardizes both our patients and our licenses. Bottom line, we need to hire. What will it take to get the hiring done ASAP? Please help. Staffing morale is at its lowest. We work in constant fear that we will miss something to the detriment of our patients and our nursing licenses. Thank you. Hi, my name is Raymond. I'm a registered nurse here at Elmwood Jail. Um, We've been seeing a lot of uh, overwhelming assignments that can also jeopardize the patient's safety. But begging uh, to please send more nurses um, to help with the staffing. Um, and it has been an ongoing problem. So we'd like to see some changes, please. Thanks. Hi, my name is Sonia. I've been working uh, at Elmwood for 13 years and uh, I haven't seen a uh, staffing crisis this bad. Um, anxiety, fatigue, uh, burnout, low morale, they will kick in. It's unfair for the nurses, it's unfair and unsafe for the nurses and also unfair and unsafe for the patients that uh, we care for. Uh, we need more experienced nurses and we just need additional people. Thank you. Hello, Board of Supervisors. My name is Valerie and I'm a nurse at Elmwood. Thank you for the opportunity to speak about some of my concerns. I have worked here for seven years and have not had to work in conditions like this until now. We have lost many nurses for a variety of reasons over the past year, but none have been replaced. While we are losing nurses, patient care standards and responsibilities continue to increase. It feels as though one nurse is expected to do the job of three many times. 
Many of us are working overtime or 10 days plus in a row just to meet minimum staffing standards or minimums. Our staffing heavily depends on nurses working overtime or over code. Working like this can easily lead to burnout and increased risk of mistakes, which ultimately can affect patient outcomes. There aren't enough nurses on the roster to call to cover sick calls or to allow a hardworking nurse some necessary vacation time to combat work fatigue. If staffing continues to be a problem, I would anticipate more nurses leaving for, uh, for other better paying well-staffed jobs. Even with all our complaints, we continue to show up to work every day and do the best we can because of our dedication to our patients. So this deserves some attention and some real and immediate solutions. Thank you for your time. Being positive is like a calling. Sometimes you, some days you feel really good, some days you feel stressed out. Um, and on top of the patients does not appreciate your work or your caring. The patient does appreciate you and the care you give to them. Sometimes they cuss you if their demands are not met but we still want to provide the best care that we can for our patients. Because sometimes you, and teaching to this community. Um, I have tried to recruit my co-worker from Express Care to come to work at the jail and they say 95 cents for hazard pay is not worth it. So I asked myself, how can we ask these experienced nurses to provide the best care in the jail when the the pays are not compatible to the other hospital and the hazard pays is only five ninety five cents. So I want to ask both supervisors to please hear us out and consider um, our work and our care for our community. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is George. I'm here I'm here working at Elmwood since last three years on PM shift. I just want to say we are really short staff and we are struggling every day with the low nurses versus high patient population. It's not safe for the patients and not safe for the nurses license. We need some help. We need some replacement. Thank you. My name is Valerie and I'm going to read this on behalf of another RN here, Maria Luz Cruz. She says, I have been working in custody for the past 10 years and I would like to address the staffing issue not to go against anybody but to have somebody hear us out. Custody nursing at Elmwood is having a staffing crisis and we need help. Coming to work knowing that you will be assigned to do the workload of supposed, supposed to be two to three nurse assignment is not only physically and mentally exhausting, but tremendously affecting the nurses and patient safety. We need help. Thank you.